Thanos. There is a security dragging around, so I'm trying to be quick. but I'm going to leave it right there because I, I'm not going to put that in my car. Okay. I'm here at the pet store. Scored that whole thing. That little thing's broken off, but I don't know if that... I don't think that would be a big deal. I think someone threw personal trash. Don't know what that is. Um, I don't see anything broke. Wow. Okay. Harder than a rock, so I ain't taking this. This is, this is weird. This is the most random thing I've ever experienced uh, in, at this location. Wow. sitting and waiting for me to leave <laughs> and so I'll just let them get it but I will grab that coffee oh. 
chocolate orange. farms closed, you know, and they just threw out all these gloves and these masks. I mean, what a waste. A box of masks, uh, gloves, and masks. Unreal. There's a bunch of receipt paper. I don't need it. I mean, what a flippin' waste. But that's okay. I'll make use of it. for Christmas. It's weird. It feels so heavy. I'm going to keep that right there in case I find it. Some ornaments. There's the box for that. And then scissors. Okay. 
out here. Missing. All right, let's go check out the next place. Hey guys, happy new year. Hope you're having a nice start to this new year. Um, let's get started. First, I wanted to show you this shelving unit that I found, and it was at TJ Maxx. I wasn't filming, um, but it it was just hidden behind the dumpster. Um, but yeah, so, and it's a corner shelf, but yeah, it looks like, you know, they, in the picture it's hung up, but it could be just on the ground as well. But, um, it looks like it had a little discoloration and then this piece needs to be put back on. But besides that, it's, it's cute. I'm sure someone could get some use out of that. And then found this whole thing of wrapping paper. I think I got that at Michael's with this. So if you've seen, I found these and the, uh, they're for wrapping paper. Um, so that's pretty cool because I have a bunch of wrapping paper from Christmas and birthdays and it would be nice because there's two of them where I can organize that and put Christmas stuff away and uh, whatnot. So it's been nice getting really organized. I'm a pretty organized person. I like cabinets organized and refrigerator organized and uh, um, just always been that way. So it's been really um, nice finding all of these different storage containers and stuff just to kind of get my closets and other stuff. Um, you can't have enough containers, I'm telling you. Um, so I forgot to show you guys from the last video everything that I got from the Bed Bath & Beyond. These were a few other things I forgot to show you. Um, I scored another one of these um, uh, electric hand sanitizer or soap dispenser or whatever I guess you want to use it for. Um, but they've been really nice. I put one in my bathroom and my daughter's bathroom and the kitchen and um, yeah, these are very nice and they work really well. Um, and then one of these motion sensor lights. I've been liking these. I've been finding some and collecting them, putting them away because whenever I move, I'm definitely going to get use out of those. And then I found another, some more coffee and they didn't, uh, rip it open and pour it out in the dumpster like they enjoy doing. Um, all right. So found one of these, another one. I just think there was a little crack there, but, um, it still had good suction. So it, anyways, I'm going to try it and use it and see if it'll still work. I mean, I probably won't use it for like the brown sugar and stuff. Cause if there is that little crack and there is any air, obviously it's just gonna, brown sugar is going to get hard. So I'll just probably use it for like uh, crackers or something and put it in there. All right. So then you guys seen, look at this. So, I mean, they spray painted it. So I'm like, all right, it's, it's gotta work. And so all of the buttons and knobs, everything clicks. And then I looked around here and there is a charging port thing here. So if there is a connection, um, it's, it's got to work and there's an on and off. So I am going to look this bad boy up and order a cord and uh, see 
see if this works, but, oh, wait, 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 let's go back. Oh, no, maybe it's in the front. Okay, let's look. Look at how much this is. It's $800. That is freaking amazing. Oh, my gosh. So, espresso maker. Um, you know, I, I used to drink espressos when I lived in Miami, and... You know, I don't know. I'm going to just clean this up really nice and get a cord and uh, play around with it and then see what I want to do. If I want to keep it or do I want to sell it. But anyways, yeah, this is, this is huge. $800. So let's cross our fingers, guys. I will keep you updated on if it works or not. So hopefully, hopefully it does. Um, then I found little Snoopy. To be honest, I don't even remember where I found this. I don't know where, where I found this at. I can't remember. But um, my daughter's going to put that in her box for her sister. Um, and then I found one of these at the pet store. This is a really nice Kong harness. I have been seeing some where they've been dumping them. Um, but they have, I don't think it was so much Kong brand. So they're pretty durable. Um, and well made but uh, a lot of stuff I've been finding in the pet store they you know stuff has been torn and ripped where it didn't hold up very well so they were returned back to the store but this one is very nice they're really making these cool with their own little pouch you could put the um, you know the little poop bags in there whatever you want to call it um, but it it's pretty nice so yeah I'm sure I can donate that for sure um, and then this was in the Bed Bath & Beyond. It was a men's um, little scissor and tweezer kit. And let's see what's next. Um, from the pet store. It was a different pet store than the harness. Um, this cute little, it's probably for the dwarf hamsters. It's the cutest little miniature little running ball. And then a little wheel. So that can all be donated. Um, next, from Michael's, you seen I scored that little bag of stuff. And it was just some little um, the suction cup, little hanger things. And, you know, those always come in handy. Um, and then a lot of little beading stuff. Just some red beads, some pink beads. And this one right here. Um, then this really cute, this is really pretty necklace. The, the, the chain was completely broke right there, but um, this comes off, so I can put that on another chain. I really like that. And then just some little Christmas knick-knacky things um, in this thing. I'm just going to throw it in my little Christmas box because those are cute to put on top of presents. Um, you know, put the little bow and put cute little things. I always like doing that on, on Christmas gifts. And then all of these really cute little charms. How cute are those? It's a little acorn, the little owl, pine cone, and the cardinal. And I'm not sure what that one is, but it's flipped. Oh, it's a, it's a sleigh, a little sleigh one right there. So yeah, so that was cute. And then a, just a bunch a, of envelopes and card packs here. So, so yep, so that was everything for that. Let me set it for the next clip. Okay, um, this is some other stuff that I forgot to show you. Um, this was from the Big Burlington 10 bags of stuff that I found. If you haven't seen that video, you need to go and check my other videos out. That's a really good one. Um, and yeah, so this uh, whole watercolor set was in there. That was pretty nice. Um, there were some lights. And then there was this thingy, and if you've been seeing my past videos, I have been finding a lot of this rose gold, um, different organizers and whatnot. So um, I can use some of this, these panels, to fix the other ones. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take off some of these little panels that aren't broke and fix the other one because I really like the 
one that I found. If you've seen my videos and you know which one I'm talking about, but anyways, so yeah, I'm going to try and get some use out of that. Also was these Adidas gloves. Looks like it's for soccer or whatnot, but um, yeah, so that was in there and just a little hair thingy. Um, I found this from Five Below Snow Globe. It looks all intact. It's pretty cute, so that was there. Um, then this was from Bed Bath & Beyond, this coffee. Um, let's see, I found this at one of the pet stores, so I'm just putting that in the donation box because my dogs have enough stuff and, you know, enough is enough. <laughs> I mean, um, so we have a big box of um, donations. And then you guys seen where I pulled out that bag of stuff from Michael's and this little guy was in there. Um, a few videos ago, I found that really pretty white wreath um, kind of looks like the boa type feathers around it. And um, I showed you guys how I fixed it up. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to add this to it. So that would be really cute. Um, all right, then I found this big thing of ribbon and some piping bags, which I can get use out of. I use those. Um, then a bunch of little storage containers. And then I found this cute little um, tree skirt for a mini tree. And it's funny because I just bought my daughter this cutest little white miniature tree with little ornaments and it needed a tree skirt so I'm like how cute is that it's so perfect so I'll put that away for next year um, I found some more big balls of yarn here and uh, so someone will get use out of that chenille that's what you call this um, but yeah and I'm loving these colors all right and then I found if you've seen in the five below clip scored these three floating shelves and look at the, the box was just a little um dented in so that's why they threw it away because this has nothing wrong with it at all and that's a really pretty color so yeah i'm sure someone will will get some use out of that all right well let me set up for the next clip guys all right so moving right along here you've seen all of those the candy bars that i found it was such an odd place. Um, I'm sure it came from a couple stores down. Uh, someone must have brought it over. Maybe they took what they wanted. Maybe they didn't see the rest in the bottom. I, I don't know. But uh, And it shows it just expired in 1220. So it's still good for another month or so. And uh, Mounds here. This was my mom's favorite candy bar. Um, I lost my mom to breast cancer in 95. She was very young. My mother was um, diagnosed with breast cancer when she was 37 years old. And uh, she, it kept coming back every couple years. Um, and she lost her battle when she was 47. So, um, but a cute little story when my mom passed away. She loved red licorice. She loved mounds. She loved, she had her little favorite little snacks. And I would find all of her little snacks hidden. She had a crock pot and she had her licorice hidden in there. I don't know why. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm like, what the heck? Why are you hiding your candy? She must not have wanted um, her fiance at the time to find it. I don't know. But uh, I kept finding all through the house where she would hide all of her little snacks. So it was it was cute. Cute little story. Um so, and she was such a beautiful woman. Oh my gosh. I remember finding a letter from Playboy where she was asked to be a centerfold. True story. I remember finding this. My mom was just stunningly gorgeous and, uh, oh, it was just such a traumatic loss. Uh, just, we were not prepared for that at all, but a lot of memories of her for sure. Um, okay, moving on. We uh, Then I found here this from the pet store. Adjustable collar has the LED reflective thingy right there. So this can get donated. And then from Bed Bath & Beyond, found this from Quizenart. Um, I think it's a cheese grater. 
I mean, I don't know if any of you guys know exactly if this tool has a specific use for something, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, I think it could be for cheese and who knows what else. Um, and then found this Hydro Boost by Neutrogena. Um, I've been seeing this uh, product or these Hydro Boost products on commercials or magazines or something, but seems to be a really popular popular product. Um, then here's a candle. It smells like vanilla. Um, some orange chocolate coffee from World Market. And then from Five Below, scored these 48-piece uh, colored pencils, which can be donated. And um, this little guy here, I don't know if it works. Um, I hope it does because my daughter's going to give it to her little sister. And then a pair of gloves here. It looks like it had something spillage on it. And I'm just going to throw it in the wash because those are cute. Um, then this Thera work works, however you pronounce that relief, um, muscle cramp and spasm relief. And it's funny. I saw a commercial for that last night and I'm like, Hey, I think I found that at uh, bed, bath and beyond. All right. Next you guys seen, I found this foot thing and it goes in your shower. Um, as you can see, it's not here because Obviously, that would be gross. Uh, no, I put it in my shower and wanted to disinfect it and clean it. Um, but yeah, it's a foot cleaner and it's kind of cool. So found that. Okay, from one of the pet stores, I found this large, large dog door. That's kind of cool. I could have used that several years ago where I used to live. And then this whole black glass aquarium there's no cracks or anything in it so so far so good three gallon so i'm sure i can give that hopefully i can donate that or whatnot and then this whole thing right here the only thing was there was looked like there was one part broke off but i don't think that really matters at least i hope not there's other little holes and stuff um but yeah that's a big nice piece for an aquarium and then I found another Woodwick candle right here. People are saying these are pumpkin butter. People are saying these are really nice. I have not lit one yet, but I'm excited to try one out. Um, and people are saying they're, I think they're pretty, pretty pricey too. Um, this was thrown away by Bed Bath & Beyond. Most of you know what this is used for, the hardwood floor cleaner for that Bona. Um, they said it's broke. Um, I don't see that, but I'm sure that I can uh, just open that and pour it into something else. It obviously can still be used. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this this haul. A lot of lot of stuff. Um, stay tuned. I have more videos for you guys. I still have a lot of footage to put together for you, um, so you don't definitely don't want to miss it. If you are new here, you need to go check out my other videos. Uh, it, they're, it's crazy. Um, I scored over $2,000 in product from Bed Bath & Beyond, six Ugg blankets. It's, uh, it's pretty crazy. So definitely go check out my other videos. And also, uh, somebody was commenting about friend mail. I did put a P.O. box down in my description. Um, I think that is extremely thoughtful that anyone would even take the time to write a card, um, whatnot is just, is a very, very thoughtful. So thank you for that. And again, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Like you don't even know for those of you that don't know, thumbs up are really important. It really helps your channel. Um, and subscribe and notification bell if you're new. All right, guys, have a happy new year and stay tuned. We'll see you at the next video.